dumb rhythmic intro we put in the opening works great for YouTube videos. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make the dumb rhythmic intro inside Video Prog Flagger. If you're into this, keep watching. Open up Video Prog Flagger. Import the prepared music file. Drag it onto audio track. Hit audio to enter the audio editor. Select analyzer. Enable audio beat and then hit analyze. After getting back to the audio editor panel, Choose Select All and hit Marker to mark the beats. Hit Apply. Now we've got the beat marked out. Next, let's import the photo or the video clip we've prepared. Add it to Video Prog Flagger and drag it onto Video Track. Fit its size to the screen. Make a copy and add a copied clip onto overlay track. Then we can crop this clip. Hit the crop. Resize the selection box to keep only the middle part. Hit apply. If there are mismatches, we can make small tweaks to show everything as a whole. Next, let's transform these two clips to make them rotate for a certain degree. Like this. Bear in mind, these two clips should rotate and scale at the same ratio. Next. Let's select the clip on the overlay track and hit Motion. Add a keyframe at the first frame. Move the selection box to the left a little bit. Then drag the playhead to the proper position. Add a second keyframe and keep the current position of the selection box. Drag the playhead to 5 frames forward. Here, let's add a third keyframe. Get the selection box to its original position. Then let's find the speed on the down part. Choose smooth speed up number one. That can make the changes in motion feel more dynamic. Hit apply. Next, we take similar steps to edit the clip on the video track. Hit motion. Like what we already did, add a keyframe at the first frame. Be careful, we should make this clip and a clip on the video track move in the opposite direction. Move the selection box to the right a little bit. Then we do the same things for the next two and the three keyframes. Hit apply. Now we've made an offset effect. Now let's add a text. Firstly, we should click on text. Enter the needed content. Adjust the font. Changing the parameter of the character space for increasing the space between letters. Then let's click on here. Use these grids to mark the center position of the text. After that, drag the playhead to the moment when the picture returns to the original state. Then we use the ripple edit tool to make the first text clip end at this moment. Make a copy of the text clip.
and decrease the space between letters to make the text more compact. With the grids, we can make the second and the first text clip share the same center point. Then following the steps, we can add other photo clips. Alright, you've reached the end of today's video. If you want to learn more video editing tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in our next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.